वेलकम एवरी वन टू जी के शंकर लर्निंग इंस्टीट्यूट ग्रुप टू टू ए टेस्ट पच फिल्मी ट्वेंटी फोर टेस्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन जनरल इंग्लिश वी हेव कवर्ड ट्वेंटी वन टेस्ट जनरल इंग्लिश क्वेश्चन दिस इज द ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट टेस्ट वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द आंसर की फॉर द क्वेश्चन नंबर टेस्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी वन बेस्ड ऑन बोथ सिलेबस एज वेल एज बुक वी हेव कवर द ट्वेंटी वन टेस्ट बेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट टेस्ट based on the syllabus the rest of them based on the book we have covered 12th to 6th this test exclusively based on the 6th term 1 term 2 based questions let's take up the question number 1 straight away let's begin with the uh, question number 1 find out the correct sentence the question being asked from the correct usage here to find out the correct sentence obviously the statement number 1 i was sitting beside grandfather on the veranda steps the statement 2 there is probably a scientific explanation for the plants behavior so what is the answer is here the answer must be option b 2 only correct because i was sitting beside grandfather is the correct usage we should not use besides besides which means in addition to besides mean beside mean next to beside means next to besides means in addition to this led to the statement one is incorrect the statement two is correct for the question number 1 option b two only correct is a appropriate answer let's take the question number 2 fill in the blank with the suitable options this question being the part of the grammar preposition we should understand the question number 2 during the rains he would walk into the jungle into the jungle beyond the river bed armed with cuttings so what does it mean by into into means enter wherever you want to use the term into which consisting are uh, deeply associated with the entrance we came into the office he we he came into the home he came into the ground which mean enters during the rain he would walk into the jungle beyond the river bed armed with cuttings option c is the correct answer for the question number 2 let's go for the question number 3 find out the correct synonym this question has been taken from the grammar portion synonym monsoon season was the time for rambling about the the term rambling means wandering option a wandering is the correct answer for the question number 3 wandering means walking here and there that's a suitable answer for the question number 3 option a rambling which means wandering let's go for the question number 4 find out the correct sentence who do you want to meet who do you want to meet the second statement is whom do you want to meet we must choose the appropriate answer for the question number 4 whom do you want to meet is the correct one option b is the correct usage here for the question number 4 option b is the correct answer two only correct let's go for the question number 5 find out the correct sentence correct sentence again asked from the common usages the contracted form of the Uh, b verb the statement one did you not meet him yesterday did you not meet him yesterday didn't you meet him yesterday so what is the appropriate usage here we should find out the appropriate usage for the question number 5 again the second option is the is the structured usage because it consists the contract form of the b verb um, so uh, i'm sorry do verb contracted form of the do do verb didn't you meet him yesterday that's a correct usage for the question number 5 option b is the correct answer let's go for the question number 6 let's go for the question number 6 consist of again that based on the uh, correct sentence find out the correct sentence this time the question is been asked from the grammar portion called singular plural singular plural we can clearly observe from the statement how much luggage did you bring 
how much luggage did you did you bring the second statement how much luggage did you bring so what is the correct usage here so luggage baggage these are the things always plural so we must use luggage option the second statement is correct again for the question number 6 option b two only correct is the correct uh, correct form appropriate answer for the question number 6 let's move on the question number 7 find out the correct sentence again we go for the correct usage the statement number 1 what color do you want red or green what color do you want red or green the second statement which color do you want red or green which is the correct usage instead of what we should not use what we must use which color that leads to the appropriate sentence which grammatically correct the second sta statement is correct for the question number 7 option b is the correct answer let's go for the question number 8 find out the odd one out find out the odd one out the question has been asked from the part of grammar which consist the compound word compound word here is the context let's go for the question number 8 option a outhouse is a compound word river bed is a compound word waterfall also a compound word demarcation it's not a compound word it's based on the clipped word the clipped form of the demarcation is mark clipped form of the demarcation is called mark option d is the odd one has been placed among the compound word option d is the correct answer for the question number 8 let's go for the question number 9 fill in the blank with the suitable options the suitable option i is the correct answer here is the subject i like to play hide and seek why we can't use he she or muthu here if you we if we use he the verb must be changed into does form which mean likes he likes to play hide and seek she likes to play hide and seek muthu likes to play hide and seek when we use the subject pronoun i we must go for do plus verb form it so the appropriate answer here is option c for the question number 9 let's take the question number 10 fill in the blank with the suitable options fill in the blank with the suitable options for the question number 10 ruskin bond ruskin bond is an award winning indian author ruskin bond is an award winning indian author for more than 500 books more than 500 books the question being asked from the grammar portion is called article option b is the correct answer for the question number 10 let's go for the question number 11 find out the correct sentence pattern find out the correct sentence pattern the tamarind is the subject give is the verb as is the object pleasant shade pleasant is the an adjective urgent yes shade also a object object so let's go for the sentence pattern here is so uh, let, uh, let me tell you something Uh, please forgot this pleasant now the sentence pattern is subject verb i o d o and place place the pleasant here urgent normally the rules is if you go for the complement if you delete the specific word the entire sentence cannot complete it if you place the complement there the entire sentence gives the complete meaning but in the matter of the question number 11 the tamarind gives us the pleasant shade the pleasant is then perfect urgent if we it if, whether it is present or not the meaning should be should not be complete uh, should not be in incomplete so let's uh, check the question number 11 option d is the correct answer option d is the suitable answer for the question number 11 which consists subject verb i o a d o is the specific usage for the question number 11 let's go for the question number 12 fill in the blank with suitable option fill in the blank with suitable option as a boy as a boy the farmer and his friends played as a boy the farmer and his friends friends played dash the apple tree under the apple tree this question also be asked from the part of the grammar preposition under is the correct answer if we use any kind of uh, tree we 
if you do not if you wanted to denote the lower portion of the tree you must use the word under option b is the correct answer for the question number 12 let's go for the question number 13 find out the correct sentence find out the correct sentence you should go to your house now you should go home now the second one is correct here we should use should not use two for the living places that leads to the second statement you should go home is the correct perfect usage for the question number 13 option b two only correct is the most suitable answer for the question number 13. let's move on the question number 14 find out the correct sentence again the same question the question being asked from the grammar portion again the general uses them the common usage stand in the middle of the circle stand in the center of the circle center is the perfect phrase perfect the term for the to point out the the middle part so you should not use middle you must use center option b is the correct answer for the question number 14 let's take up the question number 15 15 which consists the grammar portion the first one is each day is a new beginning each day is a new beginning the second one is it has so much to unfold it has so much to unfold i had the best day in the school today i had the best day in the school today both are correct grammatically correct option c is the correct answer for the question number 15. let's take up the question number 16 fill in the blank with the suitable options this question being asked from the grammar portion simple compound complex specific, specific portion which consists despite as soon as after at these are the options for the question number 16 despite is the correct appropriate answer for the question number 16 despite bv sindhu being busy with her training schedules and international tournaments she managed to attend the regular school until class 9 that's a condition despite is the most suitable option for the question number 16 option b is the correct answer let's go for the question number 17 fill in the blank with the suitable options she has won yes for the question number 17 she has won many awards as well as cash grants for his can for her contribution so we can't use ease she is she is she she was one she have one we must go for the option c for the question number 17 has is the most grammatically correct usage here for the question number 17 which consists she has won many awards as well as cash grants for the contribution so let me think uh, uh, let me discuss about as well as usage as well as is hardly equal to yes it's uh, merely equal to with 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 as well as are similar functions let's go for the question number 18 find out the correct idiom here idiom also a important character to play in our tnpsc general english question 18th consists to find out the correct idiom barking at the wrong tree barking at the wrong tree which means accusing the wrong person accusing the wrong person is the correct explanation for the question number 18 barking at the wrong tree let's go for the question number 19 uh, this this question also been taken from the same grammatical portion which consists the idiom curiosity killed the cat curiosity killed the cat inquisitiveness leads to unpleasantness inquisitiveness leads to unpleasantness is the correct usage for the question number 19 option a is the correct answer for the question number 19 idiom let's move on the question number 20 find out the correct idiom let's move on the question number 20 find out the correct idiom straight from the horse mouth straight from the horse mouth for the question number 20 yes here from the authoritative source here from the authoritative source is the correct meaning suitable meaning for the idiom 
straight from the horse that's a very 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 nearly meaning here is eventually the option b is the correct answer for the question number 20 let's go for the question number 21 find out the correct idiom feel a bit under the weather feel a bit under the weather for the question number 20 feel slightly ill feel slightly ill is the correct answer for the question number 21 let's go for the question number 22 obviously taken from the phrasal verb format let's we are shifted from idiom to here phrasal verb the question consists the jailer could not make out could not make out who was trying to scale the compound wall as there was pitch darkness the jailer could not make out who was trying to scale the compound wall as there was pitch darkness which means question number 22 understand understand is the correct usage here for the phrasal verb which has been a part of our grammar portion based on the syllabus make out which means understand understand it's a nice question let's go for the question number 23 the party candidates got through with thumping majority in the recent by elections party candidates get through with thumping majority in reason by elections so this question is based on merely based on the phrasal verb format here again phrasal verb format again which means which consists uh, the got through got through with the thumping majority so got through which means succeed option c is the correct answer for the question number 23 got through which means succeed let's go for the question number 24 fill in the blank with suitable options fill in the blank with suitable option question number 24 most of us have seen most of us has have seen a tortoise in the zoo or reptile park how is the proper usage for the question number 24 fill in the blank the question also related to the grammar portion of our t and p syllabus other it's similarly known as part a let's go for the question number 25 fill in the blank with suitable options that's completely based on the grammar portion tenses tenses for the question number 25 she turtles live their life entirely in the oceans is the correct answer we should not use livers we should not use his here lived their life in the entirely had live so if yes uh, she titles was lived or uh, option a is the correct answer for the question number 25 based on the present format simple present format let's go for the question number 26 fill in the blank with the suitable options uh, this is quite a problem for them this is the quite problem for them as a turtle's front flippers enable to swim the gracefully option a is the correct answer for the question number 26 the question being asked from the grammar portion articles articles are important things for the examination so it must be taken for the consideration let's go for the question number 27 find out the parts of speech here the turtle has has to call itself has to haul itself laboriously laboriously onto the bench for the question number 27 haul haul here is they have asked the question from the parts of speech point out the parts of speech correct parts of speech is the correct answer for the question number 27 verb verb is the correct answer for the question number 27 Let's go for the question number 28. Fill in the blank with suitable options again from the proposition section of grammar portion of our TNP syllabus. The 28, we have to find the suitable option. At is the correct answer. This is like a razor blade at the tip of the hatching note. We must understand the context when we use the tip of or edge of, we must use the specific word at is the correct answer. 
let's go for the question number 29 fill in the blank with suitable options 29 fill in the blank with suitable option there is an interesting aspect there is an interesting aspect of sea turtles biology the temperature inside the egg determines the sex of the embryo while it's it is growing when the eggs develop at the 27 degree and 28 degree only male hatchings are produced option b is the correct answer for the question number 29 which consists the suitable articles there let's go for the question number 30 fill in the blank with the suitable options most of those the two do not do make it into the water will also be eaten eaten by many predators eaten by many predators is the correct answer for the question number 30 option c is the suitable answer for the question number 30 let's go for the question number 31 which has been taken from the grammar portion question tag which already we have studied so far in the earlier test for the question number 31 fill in the blank with the suitable options they have survived natural dangers for a million of years the question is based on the question tag we must go for the be uh, have verb and add not and they for the question number 31 option a is the correct answer haven't they haven't they is the proper usage here for the question number 31 let's go for the question number 32 find out the correct statement tiny hatchlings fall prey to many predators sea turtles live in their life whole life in the sea we have we should use w-h-o-l-e that's the phrase consists the meaning of whole which means completely if we use h-o-l-e which means it's a uh, it's a it's an ordinary whole it's a place it's a place name here for the question number 32 option b is the correct answer yes option a is the correct answer for the question number 32 option a is the correct answer for the question number 32 so let's go for the question number uh, let's go for the question number 33 find out the correct statement here find out the correct statement the turtle come ashore only during the night the predators follow the scent of the turtles to eat their egg so night is is the context here for the question number 33 the statement one is incorrect the sentence one is incorrect because we should use n-i-g-h-t that's that's a called that's the time that denotes a night if you use the night night means the soldiers which is related to war the statement one is incorrect the statement two predators follow the scent of the turtles for the question number 33 option b two only correct is the most suitable answer for the question number 33 let's take up the question number 34 fill in the blank with the suitable options the question is being asked from the format of sentence pattern the dash is a dash of a sentence including the verb and the object if there is one which means option d predicate is the suitable answer predicate the definition of predicate let's take a look on the example doni hits a sixer it is a sentence it consists subject and remaining things are called predicate subject is the base base of the sentence the purpose of the sentence the remaining things which explains the context related to the subject so predicate of a sentence include verb object if there is one for the question number 34 option d is the correct answer Let's move on the question number 35 fill in the blank with the suitable options which consist uh, the portion of tenses tenses the part of grammar portion which essentially taken for the question number question t and psc questions so 35 fill in the blank with the suitable options is the correct answer the turtle 
a turtle as well as a tortoise. For the question number 35, belongs to, belongs to, which means it consists the simple present form it, belongs to reptile family. So the sentence is in a tense is called simple present because it consists no have had has and past which means went where obviously th this is the simple present tense let's go for the question number 35 the poem crocodile was written by Lewis Carroll Lewis Carroll is a famous poet who wrote Alice in the Wonderland which was in the part of the previous TNPSC general English format but Louis Carroll was not mentioned in our subject subject the official syllabus but we must understand the poem crocodile which was written by Louis Carroll option A is the correct answer for the question number 36 let's go for the question number 37 identify the figures of speech identify the figures of speech how does the little crocodile improve his shining tail his refers to crocodile the inanimate object is compared with the animate human being so non-human being the answer stands for the question number 37 obviously option a personification is the correct answer his the refer to the crocodile his is the human attribute is contributed for the non-human attribute 37 option a is the correct answer let's go for the question number 38 identify the figures of speech from the following line which taken from the poem crocodile how cheers he seems to grin how neatly spreads his class again the terms he his are related to the crocodile personified here option a is the correct answer for the question number 38 let's go for the question number 39 alice in wonderland was written by Alice in Wonderland was written by Louis Carroll. Option A is the correct answer for the question number 39. Let's move on to the question number 40. Louis Carroll is an. Yes, obviously, for the question number 40, Louis Carroll absolutely a British poet. A British poet. He is not belongs to America or whether Canadian or Irish poet. Louis Carroll, absolute British poet who wrote Alice in Wonderland. Also the poem Crocodile. Let's go for the question number 41. How cheers he? he seems to grin he refers to he refers to the crocodile is the answer for the question number 41 option a is the correct answer let's go for the question number 42 identify the figures of speech from the following lines the dates leaf as sharp as blade as sharp as is the comparison made here obviously the figures of speech must be simile but we couldn't found any simile from the option Let's go for the implied simile that is metaphor. Option C is the suitable appropriate answer for the question number 42. Option C is the correct answer. Let's go for the question number 43. Trees, the poem was written by. Trees, the poem was written by Sarala Kalrich. Sarah Kalrich. The trees, the poem was taken from the work of Sarah Kalrich is the correct answer for the question number 43. Let's go for the question number 44. Identify the figures of speech from the following lines. The apple tree requested the farmer not to cut it, not to cut it. We already know the figures of speech not only taken from the poem, but also taken from the prose, well, prose as well. So we must, must understand every basic concept of the figures of speech. Now here the apple tree requested the farmer. Requested is the human attribute given for the non-human apple. Obviously the answer must be option a personification is the correct answer let's go for the question number 45 let's go for the question number 45 find out the tense from the following line find out the tense from the following line he decided to cut the tree thinking that it was useless he decided to cut the tree thinking that it was useless let's go for go to find out the suitable tense it is obviously simple fast is the answer because it has no had it has no have or no ing format so we easily find it as simple past tense for the question number 45 let's take a look on the question number 46 find out the odd one out 
find out the odd one out here is child is the singular one uh, then uh, ox is the singular one mouse is a singular one as well as a yeah, mice is the plural form the mouse oxen is the plural children is the plural option a b c are plural form but genera is the are the singular form his are the singular form now option d is genera is the plural form while other option stands in the singular the find odd one out option d is the correct answer genum is the singular form for the genera option d is the correct answer for the question number 46 let's go for the question number 47 find out the odd one out find out the odd one out geese the man singular food singular tooth singular geese is the plural option d is the correct answer for the question number 47 these are all taken from the grammar portion is called singular plural is much essential for our TNPC preparation as well let's go for the question number 48 find out the correct statement which consists the first statement is my uncle is an MLA is the proper usage we should not use a so uh, uh, it consists the sound is M M so the sound consists of our articles yeah it consists of vowels the article should be should be used and is the correct usage the first statement is incorrect let's go for the question uh, second statement she plays flute every day she flo plays flute every day she plays the flute is the correct usage here we should use the in front of the musical instruments musical instruments the veena the guitar that's found the correct usage both the statement are incorrect let's go for the option d neither one nor two are correct let's take a look on the question number 49 find out the correct sentence which consists the statement number one i would rather going by bus bus the second my mother made the servant do the work i would rather go by bus is the correct usage here we should not use going going option uh, are the statement one is incorrect the second one is correct because my mother made the servant do the work do the work two only correct for the question number 49 and the final question for the question number the test number 21 is 50th question fill in the blank with suitable options so uh, we must change into the yes choose the correct answer correct answer the window is so high to touch the window is so high to touch being ill he was upset being ill he was upset option b is the correct answer because the window is too high is the correct usage too high not so high too touch option b two only correct is the correct uh, uh, perfect answer for the question number 50 we have completed the 50 questions of the test number 21 from the general english portion general english portion that consists the basic elements related to our examination so all the best thank you for joining us thank you for supporting us do subscribe our channel thank you so much